So what's right for our party boa that we're gonna be doing today? Well, I've decided on a turkey feather boa and I've decided on, this is a 40 gram. And the reason why I decided that is because I want a little more movement, so I wanted it to be lighter. And um, also, I didn't, it's, it's warm outside. It's, it, we live in California, so <laughs> although we do parties all over. So depending on the time of year, a lot of times weddings are in the spring. Uh, they, they are very heavy. It's like wearing a, a comforter around your neck. So um, you want to go with something lighter if it is warmer outside. Uh, so I've also chosen white. I've chosen white because it's the bride's color and we're going to accessorize that with different colors that pull in the colors of the party. So I've decided on a white. Uh, you might have all the guests also have boas and they can have different colors if you'd like. But uh, we're gonna go with white and also the size. Now for picking out the size, they usually come in six feet long, but again, about three feet is a good size because you don't want to loop the bow around you just want it to lay right in the right section here you want it to do right below like say mid rib cage so um, you can measure it on yourself but this is about three feet long and uh, you can you can cut it and right there it's very easy to cut the feather boas because they have a, a thread running all the way through it some threads that are twined together and that's what keep, keeps the feathers together. So you can cut it any place and just shake off a few little extra feathers. It won't ravel, it's uh, fine to cut it, not a problem. And that's what we'll be using for our party boa.